Hi and welcome to the installation video for the UKSB Google Merchant Feeds extension. This installation video is going to be done using the latest version of OpenCart which is 2302 at the moment. Uh, the menus etc will be slightly different to those in the earlier versions of OpenCart 2 and obviously OpenCart 1.5. Is, uh, the menus are located at the top of the screen. I'm assuming that uh, you've initially uploaded the files either uh, for OpenCart 2 via VQMod via the FTP upload or OCMod via the extension installer built into your OpenCart admin. Once those files have been uploaded uh, you first need to head over to your extensions modification section and click on the blue refresh button. Obviously this is only available in OpenCart 2. And the next step is to go over to your extensions. Uh, in older versions of OpenCart 2 you would have a, a feeds item listed here but in the latest version you have to actually go into extensions and select feeds from the drop down. In OpenCart 1.5 you would have your menus at the top of the screen and you would have extensions, product feeds and then you get a list similar to this here. You simply then click on the install button to install the extension and then you click on the edit button to edit the extension. And the first step is to simply register your license. If you're upgrading to this version of our extension, then you'll, you won't get this screen, you'll already be registered. So you simply enter in your OpenCart extension store email address. And your order ID. And then you click on the register license button. Again, if you're upgrading, you won't get this screen. Um, but if, it's this, if this is a first time installation, then you'll simply need to click on the run action button, which copies your product data from the OpenCart product table in your database to our extensions product table. Okay, upon first entering the, uh, the settings, you see you've got free support with us for 12 months. Uh, and you can always, if you need to, click on the Visit Support Now link to take you to our support site where you can raise a ticket and view the knowledge base of any common questions that have been asked previously. Okay, the status, first thing you need to do is enable that. That enables the feed, so it's, it actually generates. If you didn't enable that, you just get a blank page when you run the feed URL, but uh, obviously, so just enable it. Come back to the next three items here at a later time. Uh, default Google product category. Uh, Google requires this for all products. Uh, with our extension, you can set a default uh, Google product category here, which will apply to every product in your store. At a later time, you can override that uh, when editing one of your store categories or even when editing one of your store products. Um, and that will obviously override this default setting. We've got a little tool that we've created uh, to help you choose which Google product category you want to use by simply clicking on the appropriate plus icon next to your country or the country of the Google Shopping store that you're going to be listing on. So we'll go to the UK. This is the Google product category tool that we've created to help you find the Google product category that is best suited to your products. You simply click in the box and start typing and choose from the selection that it gives you. Uh, alternatively, you can drill down through the uh, Google product categories below until you find the one that you want. Once you've found the one that you want, 
simply click in the box a pop-up will appear and you can control C or command C on the Mac to copy the contents or right click then you can close that tab to get back to your admin and paste in the, the category that you've just copied as you can see we cover all the, uh, the various Google Shopping country sites and there are some for instance the UK one uh, if you're submitting to Google India or Google Switzerland um, you can choose the UK or English language if you're submitting to Google Canada you can choose the US and also if I can find it <laughs> the French if you're French Canadian scrolling down to the bottom here is where you choose which field uh, when editing your products that you want to use for the manufacturer's part number and likewise which field you want to use for the GTIN slash barcode number obviously you can use the uh, MPN field which is in later versions of OpenCart for the manufacturer's part number however most people tend to just leave it as the default and use the model number field GTIN again you can use UPC, EAN, JAN or ISBN fields in the later versions of OpenCart. Alternatively, you can use a SKU field or the location field or the new GTIN field that our extension has added uh, and that's available on the Feed tab when you edit your products. If you don't submit GTINs or you haven't got them, uh, and you're already using UPC, EAN, JAN or ISBN fields for some other data for some reason you can simply set it to our new GTIN field which will obviously be blank and will therefore not be submitted in the feed and won't throw any errors uh, Once you've selected etc what you want to use there you simply uh, click on save that then saves the data you can go back in edit it switching over to the Google Merchant Feeds tab you'll see it initially loads the store default and gives you the URL of the default of your store you can choose a different country for your Google Shopping site for the one that you want to list on and you'll notice that the URL changes to suit these values don't actually save when you save the feed uh, there's no need for them to, it's purely for you to be able to, to uh, get the correct URL to submit to Google. So once you've se selected it, you can simply click on the field and copy. And that's your feed URL. If you open a new tab and paste in that URL, here's the results and this is the product feed that will be uh, submitted to Google as you can see we've got a style sheet added to this feed so that you can see the contents a lot better than reading a, an XML code view so it's a lot easier on the eyes you've got your store name which is also a link to your store URL here is the meta description of your store and then you've got your products below Okay, now we'll switch back to the OpenCart admin section. Uh, before we touch on the bulk update products area, we'll go and check the other areas of the um, admin to make sure that the extension's been fully installed. So we'll go and visit catalog and categories. We'll edit one of the categories. What you should find is there is now a new tab called Feed. Uh, this allows you to enter or override the default Google product category you set in the Feed settings. Uh, if you do enter a, a different Google category here, it will affect all products that are linked to this specific category. If we click Save, 
just so we don't get any error messages all looks good if we jump over to catalog and then products and we'll edit a product and as you can see there should be a, a new tab called feed which contains all of the Google attributes you can submit for each of your products. We'll come back and touch on all of these in the next video. Okay, jumping back to the Google Merchant settings. If your store has a lot of products, you may find that its resources cannot handle the amount of products to generate one feed in one hit, in which case you will want to use the split feed function. This function allows you to split the feed by the number of products that you select here. As you will notice, a warning flashes on the screen telling you to save the feed settings and then return here to see your new data feed URLs. The reason for this is that on the uh, Google Merchant Feed Sec tab, you'll have one URL initially, but if you start to split the feed into multiple feeds, then you will end up with multiple URLs. So you'll have to save it first, jump back in to edit it, and then you can get the individual data feed URLs for each feed. Now we understand that this could result in many, many feeds being listed in the Google Merchant Feed section. So to this end, we have added an extra feature called the Advanced Feed Creation. If this is enabled, Split Feed gets disabled. You need to save the feed settings and then re-enter. Now, if you jump onto the Google Merchant Feeds tab, you'll notice that you have two fields for your feed. In order to use the advanced feed creation method, you need to set up a cron job, which is a scheduled task and which should be run approximately one hour before the time you schedule with Google to fetch the feed from this URL. This cron URL basically runs in the background via cron or via the scheduled task and it generates a hard copy uh, feed file in the UKSB feeds folder on your store route. As you can see. If you don't have access to cron jobs on your server, uh, an easy method to uh, use cron jobs is to set up an account with easycron.com. They do offer a free account. Um, please make sure that you set the time zone when you've created your account to match your time zone. Otherwise your cron job may be running at, a, at the wrong time. And you ideally want it to be run approximately one hour before the time that you specify with Google to fetch the feed. Using this method, you should be able to easily create a feed up to 200, 250,000 products. I believe Google does set a limit of around 200,000 so you may need to contact us if you wish to submit more than 200,000 products. That concludes that submit.